pray with fervency. James 5.16, the effective fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. Ian Bounds said, prayer must be a flame. Its ardor must consume. Prayer without fervor is as a sun without light or heat, or as a flower without beauty or fragrance. A soul devoted to God is a fervent soul, and prayer is the creature of that flame. He can only truly pray who is all aglow for holiness, for God and for heaven. The other day, I was in a conversation. The person I was speaking to kept checking his watch. His eyes roamed the room. He answered my questions with these short syllables. It was obvious that he was not fully engaged in our conversation. His conversation with me lacked fervency. Sometimes I think we tend to pray the same way. We pray out of habit or fear. We put no feeling or effort into our prayers. We mumble a quick thanks before eating a meal or we mutter a few words right before we drift off to sleep. But it is the fervent prayer that is effective. I remember when I was courting my wife Jessica, when we had a conversation, she would look at me with her big eyes, paying close attention to every word I said. She spoke with passion and intensity. She was fully involved in the conversation with 100% concentration. Why? Because she loves me. I think this is how we should talk to God. We should pray with a fiery fervency, with obsessed passion, with total intensity, with full commitment, with overflowing love, with a delighted zeal, with excited enthusiasm. He is our King our Savior, our Lord, our Creator, our Healer, and our Provider. In Him we live and move and we have our being. He deserves our full attention, not some wishy-washy prayer. So when you pray, pray with fervency.